Warning, this video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. Viewer discretion advised. Today, we're going to talk about magic mushrooms, man. <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! Before we dive into microdosing psychedelics, uh, I want to remind you guys I am not a physician, I am not a licensed practitioner. This is just through my experience and I'm simply just sharing my experience and knowledge with you guys. Hey guys, Tyson Della Cruz here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Microdosing psilocybin, otherwise known as magic mushrooms. Oh! I'm sitting here drinking my coffee with a microdose of psilocybin magic mushrooms in it. I coupled the microdose with two other mushrooms and herbs, one of which being Changa and uh, Portland Ashwagandha Farm uh, Ashwagandha. So I coupled the microdose with those two things. Now that there's a lot of science backing uh, not only psilocybin, but all psychedelics and how they essentially assist with curing uh, mental illnesses or diseases like PTSD, addiction, and depression. Uh, science is discovering that psychedelics can be used to cure mental illnesses. Um, also, uh, expand creative flow and increase cognitive response. And we'll get into that here in a little bit. What is microdosing? Microdosing is taking a small dose of psychedelics whether that's LSD or psilocybin, magic mushrooms, two times per week for a month or longer. Now, it's not about taking a small dose of psychedelics one time. It's about consistently implementing it into your uh, routine and allowing your experience uh, develop over the course of this time. Now, when it comes to microdosing, me personally, uh, I microdose anywhere from 0.1 to 0.2 of a gram. Mind you, if you're taking two grams, three grams of psilocybin mushroom, typically that's going to lead you into uh, a real deep psychedelic experience. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, the shrooms are turning. I've got a big man ahead of you. Small microdosing, it's almost unnoticeable. Uh, but I can tell you that uh, through my experience of microdosing, uh, it has increased my creativity, increased my patience, significantly allows me to tap into really, really deep presence, which ultimately allows me to connect deeper with the individuals around me. Now, my personal opinion, I feel that microdosing any type of psychedelic or this introduction to plant medicines and psychedelic experiences will essentially change the way that we as Western culture look at psychedelics and its ability to potentially cure mental illnesses. Microdosing psilocybin increases the production of serotonin. It also disrupts the default mode network. Now, once the default mode network is disrupted, this allows the individual microdosing this incredible sense of presence. Microdosing allows you to tap into deeper states of flow. These flow states, you, you hear about them all the time, especially if you have read the book Steel Fire. Navy SEALs are in flow states. Extreme sports athletes are in flow states competitive athletes are in flow states black trunks for the champion jose aldo jr carter relaxed and smiling oh, oh no just he slept like that tony mcgregor oh. is the new ufc featherweight champion of the world oh unbelievable 
Google. The Have you ever been in a space when you're speaking or connecting with an individual and it just seems to go so seamless? Freddie, the cosmic national situation, you do not wish to challenge you when I wrote the calibers just to indicate that the presence of a full tape in your community will get sad beats with a maxi single look at my rap. I'm sure my good place with a mighty same motion. In other words, I'm in it. These flow states are often represented by us losing track of time or better yet where time doesn't even exist to this point in time somewhere in the past the timeline skewed into this tangent creating an alternate 1985 and the flow of the conversation or the creativity or the painting is just running through you now this is what the microdosing does, it allows me to tap into deeper states of flow. So often in today's society, we relate hustle to success and success to financial wealth. For me, over the course of diving deep into plant medicines and psychedelics, I've discovered that the definition of success isn't predetermined or only determined by financial wealth. It is wealth of yourself, wealth of your entire life. I've met a lot of individuals who have made a lot of money, but who have poor relationships with their spouses or poor relationships with themselves. At the end of the day, life is about presence and experience. If we're grinding all the damn time, if we're hustling all the damn time, when do we have an opportunity to truly, truly be present? When microdosing, it is incredibly important to set clear intentions, set a clear purpose, and set objections during your microdose. As a reminder, wherever you are in the world, please check your laws on psilocybin mushrooms or psychedelics. Also, I created a guide to microdosing that will be placed in, if you're on Instagram, that will be placed in my bio. Just type in your email, the PDF will be sent directly to you. Or it'll be placed, if you're on YouTube, it'll be placed in link below. Guys, uh, I hope you guys received this message. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. If this resonated with you, uh, please go ahead and give it a like, give it a share, and give it a comment. I hope you guys have a phenomenal day. Be kind, rewind. Peace.